Look, I wanted to say this. So I've been watching this one guy on here. I'm sorry, I forgot his name is Hip Hop something. But he's been coming with the different facts about the situation with the PNB rocking a girl, right? So he shows a video, right, of this motherfucker arguing with him prior to them going to go eat at chicken and waffles right i mean and just her energy alone okay y'all know i get on this bitch right and i get a lot of lack from some of the guys who be like damn you hate niggas i mean like you you know what i'm saying why you uh you know speak the way you do about guys or whatever you hate black men whatever the case may be right and if you listen to my videos there are messages in the videos that i'm speaking and in this directed to one particular person okay if you look at my videos, you will catch that if your ass is not slow. But one thing you better know for sure as a 38-year-old woman, okay, is that I'm definitely um, not about to be talking to my nigga like that, okay? Though, I mean, just her whole attitude towards him was like, what the fuck, bitch? Like, first of all, you, you starting some petty-ass argument why this nigga on live. This man is on live. This nigga make more money than you. You seem like you jealous of him and shit. You know what I'm saying? This nigga establishing all whatever he do, you know, as far as his careers and what he've accomplished. And you sitting back mad and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of low key, like you hating on him and shit. I mean, the whole vibe, the attitude, the sassiness, the, well, I'm trying to tell you to correct yourself, you know, because I don't want you to sound illiterate what this nigga is a millionaire he know what the fuck he talking about if he want to speak it you know with some slang and some ebonics here and there and he on live why are you even interrupting this nigga why he on live to even say some stupid ass shit like that why you not letting this man just be on his live if he didn't ask you a question for you to join his live or to be put your input in on his live why the fuck are you even sitting there with an attitude why he on live I mean, just arguing with him for nothing over a word he said, you know what I'm saying? Over a word he said, and he said it the way he wanted to say it or whatever. You know and I mean, just looking at the, the, the picture when he showed her, she, this is what I got to deal with. Y'all see what I got to deal with? What the fuck are you dealing with? Bitch, you got money. You going on shopping sprees. Life couldn't be no better than that. What the fuck are you talking about? I did get a vibe like she really low key like didn't like him like that. Why are you with him and having kids and shit? If you didn't like him like that, why was he even with this bitch? He should have been with somebody who gonna kiss the ground that he walk on. You know what I'm saying? So I be understanding. Look, trust me, I understand sometimes when guys be like they want to deal with certain type of females when they get money, because you got bitches like this who out here just. You publicly, you could have told this nigga that or, or been like, babe, you should have said this or whatever. Like, why even bring that up? That's nothing to even bring up. This nigga is a millionaire. He's a rapper. He's successful. You're not. You got a name from him. Then nobody know who you are if you wasn't with him. This nigga the one who inviting you to these different affairs, these high class uh, parties and shit, these uh, celebrity functions and shit, backstage passes. I mean, you, you don't know, you, you didn't get, you know, where you are if it wasn't for him. Yeah, you wasn't getting all dressed up in an Instagram video you showed the night before and all, you know, dolled up and shit just to go to some shit that they where they, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, shit, kissing the ground, your ass walk on. You going to some shit that he going to um, because he was invited and you just so happened to be with him. So you was going to go too. You acting like you hate on him and shit. That's the vibe I got from the shit. And then in the video, I never even said anything about that. Look, if this was my nigga, okay, look, everybody different, whatever, right? But you better believe if this is my nigga and I love him and I'm seeing this in front of me, him on the ground like that, you motherfuckers would have heard me screaming. I would have been cussing him up. Why you videotaping him? Call 911. Somebody, please help him. Please. Can you just help? Please. Oh, I don't want him to. Please. Please. Somebody. You, you seeing somebody like this. I can't even. I, I can't even uh, put myself in that position because I've never been in a situation like that. But even if I tried to put myself in her shoes, I mean, the hysteric. You would have heard me. You would have saw me. I would have been there, baby, please don't. I mean, like, this your baby. This your nigga. This your baby daddy. 
This your baby, your daughter you got by him. Daddy, daddy, I know she love him. You watching the interaction between him and his child, just that alone going across my mind. He dying right before my eyes. I ain't never seen nothing like this. I'm going hysterical. I'm not about to be quiet in the background, still trying to look cute and shit. I don't want no blood on me. I ain't trying to get close to him. And you know what I'm saying? We hearing things going on in the background. We definitely don't hear nobody hysterical in, in, in panic mode. And then, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, you know, but you can't act. You were supposed to act in those moments. You fucked up the script. You didn't do nothing. No one heard you at all. These workers or whoever was there videotaping it and, and coming to get the seemed like someone had a little towel, or whatever, and saying, Don't flip him over, but flip him over. Where's wound? You know, they was doing that. Where was you at? Sitting in the back looking at how you look to see if you still straight. And like somebody else said, why they didn't take your motherfucking jewelry? I'm pretty sure you had some jewelry on too. I'm pretty sure your ass has some rings on. Or you get a pass cause you cute. Half of your whole, whatever you got on and how you look, is fake any motherfucking way from what I saw. The shit ain't real at all any motherfucking way. So you walking around just a, a fucking whole artificial ass uh, self-esteem, artificial body parts. And you just walking around in the whole artificial pride and ego. Yeah, because apparently you don't like the way you fucking look if you got to go and get all that motherfucking surgery. Them ain't your, that ain't your natural ass. Them ain't your natural titties. That ain't your natural face. Yeah, your ass got some surgery. You got some surgery, definitely. Them ain't your real lips. And this man paying for all that shit. You ain't paying for it. You get a half of it because you just so happen to be his baby mama. So you get a part of this shit too. You get to, uh, you know, share his uh, success with him because you with him and you got a child with him or whatever. That's your income right there or whatever else you decided to do with the money that you get from him. You were able to meet different people to put you in different positions to be able to go and have a business to be out here and have how many uh, fucking followers you got. You got all of that status and the status that you have is from him or whoever else you seem today you didn't get that shit on your own you ain't nobody out here like a Nicki Minaj or a Cardi B you know what I'm saying you ain't nobody like that yeah you out here riding on this nigga you you out here piggybacking off of him then you got the nerve to be walking around trying to correct this nigga and disrespecting him while he on his live and shit and got an attitude and just thinking that your shit don't stink bitch like you got your motherfucking nerves I'm not about to feel sorry for this motherfucker where was she when this nigga was on the ground? Where? She sure wasn't acting like that when she was getting ready for the motherfucking event they was going to that she only was invited to because she happened to be with him and she is his girlfriend and she is baby mama. Other than that, bitch, you never, your ass wouldn't have been invited, okay? You wasn't acting like that or had no snobby ass attitude when you turn it around in your little dazzle dress. You know what I'm saying? With your diamonds on and shit and your hair done and shit and flossing on motherfucker. Your ass sure didn't have no attitude then. Fuck you sitting there talking about this is what I got to deal with. Yeah, when you got a nigga with some money, you're going to have to deal with something. Bitch, who you think you are? This nigga got money, bitch. You better, girl, you better motherfucking conform and, 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 and get in line fuck is wrong with you now i ain't that motherfucking stupid if y'all think i am now the shit i talk is to these nothing ass motherfuckers who get out here and try to act like they something but perpetrate fraud on these youtube streets yeah but a nigga who got something going for himself and he out here doing his thing and taking care of his kids y'all see i never disrespect a nigga like that okay i disrespect a nigga who out here clearly disrespecting a motherfucking self but yeah, no, nah, you should be, you, the, I was like looking at this shit like, yeah, this some up with her ass. Yeah, I'm not going to sit on here and say that she had something to do with it. Or, or, look, I'm going to say, I think she has something to do with it. If she didn't have anything to do with it, then she didn't have nothing to do with it. Am I going to be sorry that I said that? Hell motherfucking no. I'm not going to be sorry that I felt that way. Shit, because even if she didn't have nothing to do with it, seemed like her ass, shit, probably is a little low-key like who he out the way while your ass sitting around over some stupid-ass argument. You going back and forth with this nigga about on li while he on live, you getting an attitude over that and this is what I got to deal with type of attitude and shit. Seemed like your ass would be happy that the nigga up out the way. From the attitude I saw from the last fucking uh, Instagram that y'all did, I'm looking at this shit like, What? Girl, you got your motherfucking nerves. Yeah, you need to be with a nigga to check your motherfucking ass. 
Yeah, no, you shouldn't even want to be with a nigga that you can just talk to like that or not not finna put you in your place and shit. Even if you do got the, even if you can be in a position to where you could kind of low key check this nigga because he just a little soft in some areas and you see you could take advantage of that shit. You don't do that shit. You keep that. You, 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 uh, you, you don't, you don't let him know that you let him be the man. Because he is the motherfucking man. He taking care of business. You treat this nigga as such. Fuck you sitting there disrespecting him for why this nigga on live and shit. You could feel the the weird, the, you could feel the shit through the phone. And it's a video from the other day. And you could just feel the tension through the goddamn phone looking at it. How she just sitting there just, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Fuck is wrong with you? You's a stupid ass bitch.